Hello, I'm Neil Bailey. I'm a carer, I'm a politician, I'm also an avid comic collector, as you can see from the shelves behind me here. I'm also a very, very big fan of the Brewgooders Beer and Comic Podcast for, with Jeff, Colin, Andrew and David. I'd like to introduce myself and introduce that I'm going to make some of these little films about some of my comic collection and also why comics is important to us. We will be taking a look at a variety of old and new comic titles in our Man Cave collection. From action to 2000 AD, from Marvel to DC, from IPC to DC Thompson, from graphic novels to comics old and new, especially old, and we'll be highlighting points from a comic reader's perspective, discussing what works and what doesn't along the way. The comics we may have in our collection, or is it one that your mother threw out when you were at school? We'll be making these series of films about comics. In a way, you could actually say that for me and my partner Alistair here, where we make our films here at Man Cave Studios, it's a kind of Man Cave, mm, Fan Cave kind of presentation for the Brew Gooders Beer and Comic Podcast. We hope you enjoy them. We will present a picture or story from a comic that you may like or hate but something the Boogooders can discuss. Does this comic hold happy memories for you, or does it suck in below? What we'll do is we'll take one of the comics here, or one of our books, and we'll have a look at it. Why does it interest me? Was it because of a particular artwork? Is it the storyline? Is it the subplots? Is there something within this story that really identifies with us as the reader? Or is it a political aspect of it? Maybe. Politics. Did someone mention politics? Well, don't worry. It's not that kind of politics. Don't worry. My kind of politics is, what would the watchmen be watching if they didn't watch? V for Vendetta. Does he really like fireworks? Or does he really think that they might be scary for dogs? Or Judge Dredd. Is he really getting soft in his old age? These are the kind of political questions we want to ask here on these fan casts. Here at Man Cave Studios, we can present what comics we like. But first, sofa check. Beer fridge check. Beer in fridge check. We will also show you what our favourite comics are, as well as what we are reading now and why. Beer snacks, check. One thing that we are really passionate about here at Man Cave Studios when we're making films is storyboarding. And that's setting out like almost like a comic, the scene by scene, how we're going to film something as we move along. We find that this is really important and that's why we like comics as well because we can see where we can take the story when storyboarding and how it connects with comics and how it tells the story and how we get that story over that transition between the story and film. So this is something that we find that is something really important that has been used by comic producers that have moved into TV and films such as Grant Morrison, Mark Miller, Neil Gaiman, Garth Ennis and how much their work from comics has moved to some of the best productions that we've seen over the last decade or so. I recently picked up a Marvel Comics 2020 reprint of this beautiful Tomb of Dracula originally published in 1972, written by the legendary Marvin Wolfman and drawn beautifully by, I feel, the underrated Marvel artist Gene Colan. Issue number 10 introduced first characterization of Blade the Vampire Hunter. Most issues were written by Marv Wolfman and illustrated by Gene Colan. However, Gil Kane, arguably at his peak, handled the cover art for this issue, which depicts the dramatic first appearance of Blade the Vampire Hunter. In fact, this comic was first produced in the UK under the name Dracula Lives. Uh, I used to get it, um, but that was back in 1974 when I was about seven year old. Um, I was in primary three and I remember clearly once that the, the teacher asked all the kids to bring in their comics to read. 
for show and tell. So when kids were brought in, they did Beano and the Dandy, Wizard and Chips, remember that? I ended up bringing in Dracula Lives. Well, there was a wee bit of conversation afterwards with the headmaster and my parents, but to this day, I'm really glad that my parents bought me Dracula Lives. It's such a fantastic comic. But hey ho, scarred for life, huh? Anyway, thank you for joining us here at the first of our Fan Cave in the Man Cave film for celebrating the Brewgooders and podcast. We'll hand you back now to Jeff, Colin, Andrew and David, but we hope you've enjoyed our film and that there are some points here for discussion. Over to you guys. Bye. This film was brought to you under the influence of Brewgooders Beer, Speech Bubble, Northeast India Pale Ale, Beef Brewery. Other beers are available. <laughs>